my name is Jenna and today I'm doing a movie review of Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales. Before I get started I just want to say that I am a massive fan of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. I think they are fantastic films. I loved the original trilogy and despite an, um, being an unpopular opinion, I really really loved On Stranger Tides. I thought it was such a fun addition to the franchise that I just couldn't help but love it. But when I found out that they were making a fifth one, that they were making Dead Men Tell No Tales and that Will Turner was going to be back, I did a little bit of an internal freak out because Will Turner, you know, is the reason why I watched the first three films, let's be real here. And then of course I found out that this movie was going to focus on his son trying to break the curse on Will and I just was like, mm, yes, I need to see this film. This is going to be a spoiler free review so don't worry if you haven't yet seen the film, you can watch my entire video without fear of being spoiled, although I do highly recommend that you go and watch the movie. So as always in my movie review I'm going to be talking about the storyline and I'm going to be talking about the characters. First up, when it comes to the storyline, this is not the best storyline that Pirates of the Caribbean has. The best storyline that it has is 100% that original trilogy. But this film sort of brings it back because, like I said, it focuses on a young Henry Turner who is desperately trying to break the curse. So he's trying to find the Trident of Poseidon because he believes that it will break the curse on Will and let him come home, which is just so cute and I just love it. During the course of his search, he runs into Captain Salazar, who is like this really creepy dead ghost kind of guy who Jack Sparrow has actually bested in the past and so Salazar has this real vendetta against him but let's be real here who doesn't have a vendetta against Jack Sparrow in this franchise? From there Henry teams up with Jack, teams up with his crew and also teams up with a young girl named Karina Smith who is a woman of science which in those days if you were a woman of science you were accused of witchcraft and basically were going to be burnt at the stake because people back then didn't believe in science they just well they did but they thought it was a man game. You know, science was for the men, laundry was for the women. Also involved is of course Captain Barbosa, who kind of gets himself wrapped up with Captain Salazar and that's sort of how Barbosa ends up in the story. All in all, I thought that while the storyline wasn't the best, it definitely had its moments and although I had a little bit of trouble with the pacing of this film, I thought that at times it was kind of a little bit slow and at other times it just kind of was all of a sudden like, oh, that just happened. But apart from that, the main crux of the film, the actual storyline itself, was beautifully done and I really really enjoyed it. I thought it very much captured the essence of a Pirates of the Caribbean film which is all that I really wanted it to do. Moving on to talk about the characters. So obviously I'm not going to talk too much about Jack and Barbosa and all of the returning characters because why would you bother? But when it comes to the new characters such as Henry and Karina, I want to say I really loved Henry. I thought he had this really nice, you know, drive. He was very determined to save his father. That was that was what he was there for. That's what he wanted to do. When it comes to Karina though, I j Yeah, do you ever have that thing where you see an actor and they're playing this role and you just absolutely hate that character so much. You have so much hatred for them that no matter what you see this character like this person and acting again, you're always just going to see that character and you're just always going to hate her. Well, the girl who plays Karina Smith, Kaya Skull, I can't say her last name, but she plays Teresa in the Maze Runner trilogy. And if you all have been keeping up with my channel and if you watched my Fever Code review or anything where I ever talk about Maze Runner, you will know that I cannot stand Teresa. She's literally the worst character I've ever read about in my life. I hate her so much, so much about her. I just hate. Yeah. So because of that, that kind of ruined Karina for me. Like Karina was a good character and I really enjoyed her. I absolutely loved that she was bringing the science aspect to it, even though she was a woman, but I just couldn't get past her as Teresa. And I was like, damn it, anyone else, they could have gotten anyone else to play her and I would have absolutely loved her. But because of the fact that I can't get past her as Teresa, I just, I wasn't a fan. <laughs> There were a lot of characters that returned in this film that hadn't been in the fourth film and that include Murtog and Mulroy, which were the really funny guys in the Queen's Navy that ended up being in part of like Barbosa's crew. Love them, love them so much, they're so funny. Also back is Scrum who actually was from On Stranger Tides, we also have Gibbs back and we have Marty back. Marty I don't think was in On Stranger Tides but he's back now so not really sure where he was or what he was doing during that movie but they kind of just brush over that. And of course like I said we had Will Turner back which he wasn't as big of a character as I thought he was going to be which was kind of a little upsetting for me but he still had a really big role to play 
and it was just so sweet and oh I really loved his part and I just loved the ending which I won't go into because I don't want to spoil anything but it was just so sweet and I just loved it. All in all I think I would end up giving this film a 4 out of 5 stars just because I did really thoroughly enjoy it. No it was not the best Pirates of the Caribbean film that they've ever made but honestly I wasn't expecting it to be. I was just expecting it to be a really fun piratey sort of movie which is exactly what I got and I'm really really happy that I went and saw it. I'm Pirates of the Caribbean trash, you can guarantee I'm gonna buy that movie and I'm gonna watch it like a million times when it's finally on DVD, cause that's what I do! Thank you guys so much for watching, let me know in the comment section below what you thought of Dead Men Tell No Tales and what you think about the fact that they could be continuing on with the franchise. Personally, as much as I love the franchise, I honestly think that it's probably done at this point. I know that in the post credit scene they kind of hinted towards a new film, but they were pushing it with this fifth one and I just don't see that they're going to be able to continue on. But let me know what you think about that in the comment section below. I would absolutely love to know. If you like this video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. Stay random. Bye.